If you're looking to enable a membership system on your WordPress site, I got you covered. Plus, it's going to be a free plugin. So let's go check this out right now. If you're looking to lock out certain pages of your website, this is the plugin for you. It enables you to add a registration, a login, and a membership section with this plugin. And best of all, it's a free one, all right? So the first thing you want to do is head over to plugins, add new plugin, and we're going to search for membership, okay? Once you do that, the membership plugins are going to be popping up. The one I recommend is this one right here, the ultimate members, all right? So we're going to go ahead and install that and activate it. And I really love how easy it is to really use this plugin. Now, they have a bunch of settings available. But what I like most about it is that it's going to automatically create the pages for you. So it's going to create the login page, the password reset, the membership directory and all that by just clicking on create pages. Now, yes, you can do this manually, but I recommend that you do it automatically in case you want to change it later on. I'll just show you right now in a bit, right? Now, before I show you how this works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're looking for an affordable shared hosting plan where you can install your WordPress sites and install this plugin, this is a great option. So I recommend jumping to the link in the description, go to hosting, web hosting, and you're going to be able to find their shared hosting plans. I'm going to recommend to you the business plan, which is $3.99 a month, but it's going to be even lower with the coupon code that I'm going to show you how to apply. Now, the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price, but if you click on have a coupon code and paste my coupon code or type it in, SAS Master, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. That's for 48 months. So that's really affordable for what you're going to get. So do consider it. Okay, so back to my site. Now, as I mentioned before, the first thing that it's going to do is create the pages that are going to be tied one with another. So the login page is tied to the login page that was created automatically. But if you create your own page, you can go ahead and tie it with one of each other. You do get a short code for each one of these sections so you can create your own page, a beautiful page with a Divi, Elementor, whatever you want to use and just use a short code, which be, would be tied to this. OK, so if you go to pages, in pages, we'll find these that says UM account, which is the ultimate member plugin that we installed. This is the account section. I can go ahead and edit this and modify aspects of this. If I want to add an image, if I want to change the distributions, etc. All the details, I do it from here. Or I can grab this short code and I can create I can create something really nicely. For example, I have installed Brizzy here. I can make a really nice looking page and add that short code there. And it would be tied to my membership plugin by designating it all right so for example in settings as i mentioned if you create a different login page just find it here and tie it with one with another okay that's to get started then you have your users settings so in the user settings the first thing i do recommend that you use is the registration default role that means that you can designate when someone registers what type of access they're going to get for example you can even designate them as an administrator which you don't want to do all right but you get that option it could be an author. If this is a page where people are going to be writing content, then they register and they become an author and they can write content. A contributor, a subscriber. If it's a shop where it has WooCommerce, we can designate them as a customer. So it depends what you want to do with the register over here to be created. In this case, I want them to be an author just for testing purposes. OK, and you have several details available here, which would be based on use case. So do check this out with comms. So you know how it works. And then the SEO feature, if you want the profiles to be indexed, enable yes and designate how this is going to be structured. So it appears on Google, Bing, etc. All right. Now, before we jump into the rest of these, how you want it to be, how to appear on Google and Bing over there. Now, there's the, also the account settings. Again, go through these based on use case. There's several settings available here. I want to show you the main ones and the most popular ones. OK, and then you have here uploads information here to restrict what they upload, right? Then you got your access. This is a really important part of what you're going to restrict on the content. For example, is the site accessible to everyone or not? In this case, I'm going to make the site accessible to logged in users. So that means that they have to be registered. I can also do a custom redirect in case they go to a section that they want to preview. So for example, I can redirect them to the registration page tied to my WordPress site. So they go ahead and register to jump into these sections, okay? I can also exclude the following URLs. So that means that if I want to exclude my, my privacy policy, terms and conditions of the, my contact page, things that I don't want it to lock in, I just add the pages right here, one after another, right? 
then you have the option to allow home page to be accessible. And yes, you do if you want to enable this. So at least give them access to the home page. Accessible category pages, replace and restrict post titles. And then you have your restriction message that you want to uh, type in here what you want to add. You also have your visual editor in case you want to do that. Okay. Then restrict Gutenberg blocks. So in my case, if it's going to be a page where people are going to write content and make content, I don't want to restrict the Gutenberg blocks. But maybe you do want to do so. So just go ahead and enable this here if you want to restrict that. Then enable the content restriction settings for the post type. So I'll do, I'll enable everything just for testing purposes. And if you have a WooCommerce store and if you have other type of uh, post types, you can enable these. So if there was a cool WooCommerce store, you would have the option here to lock products, for example, all right? Enable the restrict the content restriction settings for taxonomies. Um, let's just uh, go ahead and enable everything right now, just for testing purposes. Okay. So let me show you how that works on the front end. So let me grab this test page that I have. I'm going to go to incognito mode. I'll be able to view the front page. But if I go to somewhere else, boom, I have to register. Why? Because it's now locked. I, I now have enabled a membership plugin. So I would have to either log in or register. If I go to register, I'll be going to the registration section. Now, I do recommend that you beautify these pages for the registration in each one of these and use a short code so you can use it. And yes, you can modify the form and what you ask on these sections. So let me type in something really quickly so we can use as a registration. OK, I am now registered. You can see here I can change my details. I have my changed password, privacy, etc. And I'll go back to the home page. Here we go. And I now should be able to jump in this test page that I have. Check this out. I now have access to every single section because I'm in, I'm a registered user. So it's super easy to implement the membership plugin. So that's for the access settings. You have other settings here again, based on use case, you got the emails that you can set up here. For example, an email will be sent out as an account welcome email. But if you also want to send out an act activation email to lock this even further. So my test, you can see that I could just jump in once I register. But if I need to activate, I go ahead and manage this and enable it so I can activate it, right? So it's super easy to do this. Just go through the list and go through the process of setting up your own details. You have your appearance details here. Again, based on use case, you got your profile menu, registration form and login form. This is not where you're going to edit the form, but it's just the details, general details for this section. To edit these forms, we're going to go over to the forms section over here. And this is where we're going to be able to edit this. For example, the default registration, I can go ahead and edit or I can create a brand new one. Now, Right now, is it's asking for the username, the first name, last name, email, and password. I can add another section here. I can edit these sections if I need to, or I can just make another beautiful page somewhere else and use the short code. For example, I can create a page with Breezy, DV, Elementor, etc., and use the short code so I can create my own beautiful page and it'll have this form available. So this is where I create the form and then I embed it on a page where it looks really nice. Same thing goes with the login page and the default profile section, right? Then you have your user roles here. If you need to create a new role with different type of access, create them here. You got your member directory. So here you view all the members with their ID and default information and the short code in case you want to create your own member directory. If you need to edit it, just click on it here and go through the details for this. So basically it's an overall overview of this ultimate member plugin that I think it's one of the best plugins that are free. They don't lock you out at certain settings. No, it's not the most powerful one. No, it doesn't have the most beautiful settings or themes, etc. But it gets the job done if you want to lock in certain areas of your website. And for free, you can ask for more. So that link will provide it in the description in case you want to check it out. And don't forget to check out the hosting plans on Hostinger. And don't forget to use my coupon code if you plan to grab your hosting plan. And that's a wrap.